Welcome to February. What's up my chair bombs? <laughs> On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my February perfume tray. Oh my God, I can't believe it's February already. Welcome to February. It is Black History Month and it's also the month of love. You guys know that Valentine's Day is right around the corner. If you didn't watch my Valentine's Day fragrance video for the niche list, go ahead and watch that. I think I posted that yesterday. I'm not sure, but definitely is going to be posted way before this video. So without further ado, you guys, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my perfume tray for the month of February. So if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and grab a seat, grab a drink, and let's get right into this video. Like I said, I still can't believe that we are in February. Like what? January just came and it left. Honestly, it was a little dragging. I'm not even gonna lie. In the beginning, when I hit the 15th, I was like, oh my gosh, this month is going very fast. And then once um, that went away, I'm like, oh wait, this month is still here. Like, cause I'm so used to the months um, flashing by and going by so fast, but we are here and we are in February. And I'm super excited to share with you guys my January list. I'm gonna share with you guys my top three fragrances out of the seven that I kept on going back to, that I kept wearing, that I could not put down. So for the month of January, this one was one that I was wearing when I didn't feel like wearing a fragrance. And I felt like, you know, I just wanted something that was very soft and clean, but I didn't want anything that was heavy. You guys know that in January, I decided to wear all vanilla fragrances so this one is from commodity and it is commodity gold as you guys can see there's a dent in there of course i've been wearing her like crazy i really like her she was one of those fragrances that i would wear to bed and on days where i just wanted to spray something on and go i really enjoyed her she got me two compliments throughout the whole month because those are the only two times that I really went out. And I really don't count Mark's compliments because he's gonna always compliment me even if I'm fresh out of the shower. No scent at all. He's gonna compliment me, okay? So I, that's a given. So I'm not counting his compliments. It's a vanilla fragrance that's your skin, but better. And I really, really enjoyed her. And um, yeah, she was one that I wore the most. She was definitely part of the top three fragrances that I enjoyed during the month of January and I enjoyed that a lot. Alcobar Royale by Novice Perfume was the next one. I really enjoyed this one to the point that I broke the bottle. I was wearing her every day. Mark was wearing her. Mark literally just wore it yesterday. He always get compliments when he gets in the car after a long day and I smell him or he comes into the house. I'm like, dang, you smell so good. And it's Baklava. Like Baklava is really that girl. And I can't wait for it to go back in stock so you guys can purchase it as well. But that was one of the favorites of this month, for sure, for sure. And the last one and the most worn one was from Black Opium. And it is Black Opium over Red. Y'all, this is a beautiful vanilla and coffee fragrance. But it has a beautiful added note of cherry. And I really love it. I had a good time wearing this fragrance. Oh good time wearing this fragrance it lasts so long on my skin and my clothes i don't know if you guys only spray on y'all skin because a lot of fragrances that last so long on me you guys are commenting that they don't last do y'all spray on y'all clothes or do y'all spray on y'all skin only comment down below but this was the most worn i'm really happy i had it in the collection um for the month of january well the perfume tray collection for the month of january and i really enjoyed it so definitely check this one out if you haven't already it is a good one and um can y'all see the dent? Yeah, I wore her a lot. So that was the top three of January's perfume tray. I can't wait to see which one's gonna make the list for the top three of February. But without further ado, let's get into this perfume tray. Like, But the first one, since it's a Black History Month, I decided to bring out a black owned company, Chris Collins, Long Kiss Goodnight. This is the only fragrance that I have from Chris Collins. Um, I'm still working on getting some more. I'm finally getting into that house. It's super new to my collection. They don't have it in store. So it was so hard for me to get into it. But Long Kiss Goodnight is a gorgeous, beautiful, aromatic rose fragrance. It made the list for my Valentine's Day fragrance. And it's definitely in the tray this month. So I don't know if I'm going to be wearing this for Valentine's Day. It's sexy. It is alluring. This is a rose fragrance that definitely lives up to the name, A Long Kiss Goodnight. Like literally, we're going on a date. We're wearing this. This could be a signature scent 
for special occasions. It could be a signature scent for every single day. I don't see myself wearing this in the office because I feel like it's a little bit too bold and sexy and just in your face. But that's the type of person I am anyway. So yeah, like if you want to do that, then definitely do that. But this is definitely one that I'm going to have in the collection and the rotation for this month. And I'm super excited. And of course, in honor of Black History Month, why not? It's perfect for Black History Month and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So yeah, Long Kiss Goodnight by Chris Collins. So the next one that is in my collection is a new release. I haven't even had it for a good five days. I recently received it in the mail. It's from the House of Seven Virtues and it is Amber Vanilla this right here is such a beautiful amber and vanilla fragrance it has the top notes of amber middle notes of carnation that's what you see on the packaging right here as you guys can see it's beautiful carnations and in the base you have vanilla super simple super beautiful but y'all this right here is the amber and vanilla combo that i've been looking for seven virtues did a really good job on this fragrance you guys have been bringing out bangers and I am so here for it. I love this one so much and it's only been here for three to five days. I can't believe that they came out with another vanilla fragrance. So if you're looking for a vanilla fragrance on the ambery side, then Amber Vanilla by Seven Virtues is amazing. Is it vanilla or vanilla? It's Amber Vanilla and it's definitely in the rotation. So of course I'll be talking about it some more during my vlogs. The next fragrance is another vanilla fragrance, but this one is a lavender and vanilla combo. And I am so excited to wear this one this month. And it is Goddess by Burberry. Really haven't been giving it as much love that I needed to because it's brand new to the collection, of course. And I'm, and I'm just like, okay, it's time to put her in the rotation. Burberry really did a good job. Burberry been doing good with their fragrance releases, to be honest with you guys, because Elixir, it's good. Her elixir is good. And now they have goddess. Now, like I said, and I like I will always say, it is not a groundbreaking fragrance. Like, oh my gosh, this is the only vanilla that you need in your collection. No. If I do a video like that, it's because it's just for fun. It's a crowd-pleasing fragrance. And I'm just like, listen, you can't go wrong with a crowd-pleasing fragrance, okay? Especially if you're wearing a fragrance so you can get compliments. This is nice, okay? It's nice. And I can't wait to wear her for sure because the girl's been telling me like, they get so much compliments with this one. I know a lot of my chair bombs that messaged me and DM me said that the moment it dropped, they got it. And by the end of that month, they had to get another one. So I can't wait to wear it because I just want to see what vibes it gives me at the end of the day. So let's see if I fall in love with it for this month, for sure. Because I know I really like it. Let's see if I'm going to fall in love with it. And yeah goddess by burberry now before the winter ends because for us winter ends around the end of february going into march i wanted to wear one of my heavy hitter winter fragrances and i do have a winter fragrance video coming out but i really wanted to wear something that was heavy something that was dense and something that is sexy and the only fragrance that i could think of was one from Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. And it's Oud Satin Mood. When I am feeling jazzy and I feel like wearing something that's a little bit more luxe and luxurious, then this one is what I'm gonna be wearing. You guys already know it's Rose, Oud, and Vanilla. It has Benzoin and Violet in it as well. And I really, 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 really love this fragrance. It is so sexy, so sophisticated. It will get you all the compliments and more. I feel like this Oud is a bearable Oud. When you wear this, you walk into a room, no one could say nothing to you. You literally own the room with this fragrance. And that's why I have it in the lineup because it's just that good. So yeah, definitely looking for a Oud and Rose combo. This one is good. I like this one and I like the straight, but I feel like I wouldn't even get the straight unless I'm done with this bottle. So now this next one is one that I really don't talk about, but if you like Neroli, Orange Blossom, Vanilla, and this one is it and it is Sintra by Memo Paris now this was gifted to me by Twisted Lily but girl this is beautiful it is neroli it has a note of milk in it which gives it like not a creamy feel but like a milky lactonic vibe then you get the vanilla and the caramel and amber and vanilla sandalwood in the base that just have you 
smelling so divine, so luxe. I can't wait to wear this. I think this is a perfect fragrance to transition from winter as well into spring. And I feel like I will definitely enjoy this one for the month of February. And it's a perfect Valentine's Day fragrance as well too. I have a lot to think about when it comes to Valentine's Day this year because everything on the perfume tray is definitely giving Valentine's Day in my humble opinion. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this. If you like Love Don't Be Shy or if you think Love Don't Be Shy is a little bit too sweet, try this one out. I'm not saying that it's not sweet at all because it definitely have those sweet nuances in here, but it's not like Love Don't Be Shy. I feel like Love Don't Be Shy is really rich in the sweetness because it has that note of sugar. This one has the caramel and the vanilla. So you get the sweetness, but it's not as heavy as sugar. So I'm definitely wearing this. Um, I feel like I would wear this to brunch. I feel like I would wear this if I'm gonna go run some errands and I'm looking cute and put together. That's what it's giving. It's definitely giving boss vibes. It's definitely giving that it girl. And I'm so happy to have it in the collection and I can't wait to wear it in the rotation for this month. Y'all know it's the month of love. So y'all know it's gonna have a rose fragrance, but, 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 I decided to wear this specific fragrance for this month, Hibiscus Mahajad. It's rose, it is hibiscus, it is goodness. This, oh my gosh, it's so sexy. It is an extract de perfume. Every single time I wear this, I get crazy compliments. It is not filled to the rim anymore. And I haven't had it for a month yet. So that tells you a lot. I really like it. I like the house of Maison Crivelli. They're expensive, but I do like their house. I, I think that they're very luxe and very different from any house that I've tried in a long, long, long time. And that's how I feel about Armand Jane. But Maison Crivelli is very sophisticated, is giving off sophistication. Everybody and their mom that owns this fragrance, it just it just doesn't stop. Like the compliments don't stop. You understand the mission. This is bold. This is sexy. And anyone that's wearing this, you could already tell like, okay, she knows what she's doing or he knows what he's doing. And it's just giving a whole different level of class that you probably wouldn't have gotten with a regular and basic rose fragrance. I like this one. It's blended to perfection and can't wait to wear her some more. Now you know that I would have never made this list without a cherry fragrance. I need a cherry fragrance. And this fragrance right here is a beautiful cherry fragrance. Venom of Love by Navatus Perfume. This is it. This literally smells like lost cherry, but a better version of it. I'm just gonna be honest. It lasts so long. It is super sexy. I got it at the end of the month of January and I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. It is. This is exactly what I wanted lost cherry to smell like or to perform like and it didn't so i'm happy that Navatus gave us something to work with because yeah i'm not spending 500 dollars on that lost cherry bottle if you ever see that in my collection just know that it was gifted or i found it at a really good deal okay so venom of love is definitely a cherry that's going to be in the collection for the month of february do you have a perfume tray how do you do your rotation how do you pick out fragrances if you have 10 fragrances how do you pick out what fragrance you're going to be wearing for the entire month for me i have over 600 i always pick out seven for the month and i just rotate out those fragrances okay i can't wait till the end of the month to share with you guys how i feel about these fragrances which one was the most worn and yeah if you didn't catch january's perfume tray that's a good one definitely check that one out i have it in the link in the description box below for you guys but I'll have everything linked down as well. If there's a coupon code, which I feel like there definitely is, I'll have it for you guys until, until we see each other again. Please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. And don't forget to subscribe, girl. Bye, Cherry Vibes. <laughs>